Well now, a bit of a change. I got the walkway open now because I think they're going to be advancing on with more of that now. Hopefully this time you can actually hear me because under the last video that I put out did have some volume problems. I don't know why. Maybe it was something that I'd done on the mix, I don't know, but I mean everything else had had the same problem, so it might have just been straight from here. Yeah. As you can that covered walkway is now open. And the toilet is still in sick shape. So since this time I'm here, shitting in the danger zone, yes. Nails are done. I don't know what else is going on. There's a lot like much else really happening. Just gonna see if I can spot anything. The river. We have the covered walkway open now. Images of life from that side, the side that's been closed for a little while. So we have to see anything happening over this side. Probably not, but we don't know. Can we see anything? Apart from seeing the skeletons of the building and the mess. This is proper messy. This will be a lot of fun when it comes down. And now let's see if there's any. Okay, so they did extend the trench here. Sweet. Yeah, so they're definitely going to be. Uh, Moving along, and we've got the vacuum excavator going on. Uh, there's also okay, it's just up there. Not a man lift. No, a cherry picker, if you want to call it that. If they're assessing them all, they'll probably be taking more this way to wait. Sorry. Isn't too bad. No, no fezzies. This is definitely uh, very interesting. Let's keep you swung up, keep you away from people's faces. Do yeah, down there, knocking the crap out of some of the feet. Probably what the sounds of life were. There's a bit of noise has gone on in here. Back over here. Let's see. Let's see if there's else in the spot. Apart from the room. Vacuum excavators, brilliant things. I think some of the stuff that got missed out when last week's one kind of corrupted and died was uh, the arena idea. Just to broaden up on the arena idea as I spread out with the uh, Elder Gamers blog. Like that was uh, if you were to keep in like market building. And just modify it a little bit. Yeah. But if you modified like the arena building and stuff and kept the internals or the market building the arena, you could easily make the place pay for itself just by having events on and things like that. Pretty easy to do. You know, you could dedicate like two or three weeks where it could be you know, the ice hockey and then the next few weeks it could be basketball and then you could have like some of the bigger acts that need bigger arenas and they can go in there and stuff like that you could always get like you know 
as we said in uh, older gamers vlog, you can always get the uh, in. in. You know, they could always come up here and do a few over here, stuff like that. See if you can even like entice the wrestling. I'm sure wrestling promotions would love to come to different places because you've got an arena that can go from, let's say, what, 10, 10,000 to 12, 13. Pretty easy with the floor locations. Plus, some of the American teams could always come over their sports and stuff like that and we could do that you can always kind of you know use the arena for a bit of you know indoor tennis stuff like that get a bit of a re you know like five side arena league football whatever you can get all that lot going you never know sometimes you can always get things moving in those arenas and especially with what's going on with making things like you know small locations and get everything easy to access. The amount of people that there is in this town you know the size of a micro city. So if you think about it, if you've got what I used to base it off close to a hundred thousand. You now you'd need what we've got currently. And then if you go in over two hundred thousand then you'd need more. So you would need like an indoor arena, you would need bigger attractions. And you would need a lot of other stuff. So you know I mean that would be cool. Same with like some places do have their own, you know, bigger like you know water worlds and stuff like that. That you know, even losing Camelot, which was just up the road to say so Charlie, losing that was a bit of a bummer because it was one of the major attractions to go to in the local area. Now everyone's gotta to go to Southport or Blackpool. Or if you're brave enough, spread it out and go over Stoke. Which, well, that's a two-hour drive out of here. The M6. So, you're giving yourself a bit of a problem though, really, aren't you? Well, a lot of stuff. So you're doing all of that and you've got noisy buses. I can't do what I did on the last one because I can remember that one. And there was a truck that was stuck, or well, not stuck, but still waiting at the lights and it was quite a loud one so it was like yes 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 we know you're a loud truck truck stolen that one from someone I know I'm not going to do the other ones but I mean it does get to become a problem but like, like look at the height of that well, you could easily get a decent arena in there oh yeah you might have to do a little bit to the roof and stuff to put like you know you know, your HVAC in and get your aircon systems and your other stuff and you might have to change a few of the internal structures on the roof in for it but you could easily get a decent sized arena in there and with there being that big void underneath so I have a plant room down there for all the chillers <coughs> it wouldn't be too difficult to have all the chillers and everything down there you know, you could probably also have a practice space down there. So there'd be a lot more going on rather than just a few little bits. It's not too difficult. And then, better down here as well. Like, it's probably not from what we said in his vlog. This, yeah, you could probably use some of these, like, you know, loft spaces and turn them into dwellings and stuff. It have to be all built in one central location. You can do it in different spaces. It doesn't have to all be in one. But hey, I just can't be choosers. Yeah, I know there is a little bit of wind noise now. So I'm going back into where the alleys. Yeah, this is never going to be a gully again. And I mean, like these big doorway openings are the size of, you know, like small, slightly smaller versions of a Liverpool Anglican Cathedral open doorway. You know, just that grand opus. Yeah, there's nothing there that's you know, stopping us from having something a little bit better than just a flat dash thing that would have worked at the end of the 80s into the 90s. You know, even 15 years ago, some of these plans were coming out of fashion. 
you know, no matter what goes south and no matter what's in kind of like middle America. I don't really think they're going to work in the northern town, do you? You know, it's not Vegas. It's not upstate New York. It's not Idaho. You know, no place like that. So we're not exactly that cosmopolitan in grandeur and size and abilities. Especially the money that we spend on this place. 135, nah, that's going to be more like 170 by now. Just because of the cost of all that shite. But it's just. It's been too long. This really hasn't changed much, to be honest. This hasn't really changed much since I was up here last. But, yeah. Just opened back a bit more, but I mean, that's about it. Don't give you much else to view, though. There isn't exactly a lot there. Still, I don't know what's going to happen. We've been for two weeks and not a lot of this has really changed that much. I mean, the machines are still here. You still see where the ramp section has gone. Just see the mountain of rubble there. You still see to the edges. Not much progression here. Yeah. So we'll see what we've done with the gradient and the cap of that bit. Well, that is changed, isn't it? Uh, it's flat. Got a big roller though. We've got the roller. You see another mountain of rubble there, right on the edge. Didn't make much progress over that way, but then again, I think there's way to number it. Not much again. I mean, where the concrete ramp was, that's been munched in. It's been changed around a lot. And stuff. Not really much to talk about down here. Yeah. So, this building is going to be what? Apartments. Okay. This building is going to be apartments. Probably something on the bottom by another shop set or something. You can still turn all these up there. And you can still easily make a lot of these roofs, all these lofts and stuff, into uh, rooftop apartments. Get a bit of dollar in for that. And this is definitely strange. And on one of the nicer and warmer days, this is definitely uh, an odd pod. But we are in April, so obviously weather's going to get better. Clock's still going. Anyway, me, me, peace.